Hello, my name is Thomas. I'm a member of technical support department here in Prague in command headquarters. And in this video, I would like to show you how to configure protections and especially custom analog protections within Comap controllers. I have opened GenConfig with standard Intel Sys configuration and I have several options now. I can either configure those protections at inputs and outputs card or there is the protections card. This would be the second option for creating custom analog protections. But as the first step, I would like to show you how to do it on the inputs and outputs card. So you can see that there are binary inputs and analog inputs. So I can open the first group. If I click on binary input number 16 and tick the checkbox protection, I will open the protection menu where I can choose the protection type, when is it active and what's the block type. So what does it mean? I can choose the protection type here, for example, warning. I can define that as this is a binary input, I can only choose whether it's closed or opened. And then I can choose whether this is active all the time or if there are some conditions to evaluate these protections. We will talk about this later on. So that's the first option. Binary inputs on IOS card. Second option is analog inputs. So I can open these again and I can choose physical analog input number four, for example. And I can see that this is used for secondary water temperature. If I tick the protection checkbox, the protection options opens again and I can again choose the protection type and several other options. If I click on it, this is uh, a so-called wizard for uh, protection creation. I can choose the protection type. I can choose when is it active. I can choose conditions. I can choose anything else. Or I can do the same using the custom protections card. So if I close this one and instead of inputs and outputs card that I have used now, where I have used binary inputs uh, for binary protections and analog inputs for analog ones, I can go to protections. If I want to create custom analog protection at this card called protections, I need to click on this red plus and the wizard that I have mentioned before it opens again. As a first thing, I need to choose what value would I like to choose this protection on so i can choose for example engine values and base it on analog value rpm as a second step i need to choose the protection type i would like to have it as alarm indication if you want to know more about those protections you can click on this one and then press f1 to open the context help And you will see the same as you can find in the main manual for all those control units where there is a list of first and second level protections and their description. So for this case, I have chosen alarm indication. That means that this will be displayed only on the display. It will not be stored in the history and it will not do anything with the genset. It's just a first level protection. You can see that it's a yellow level one. Yellow level here means first level protection. Red means second level protection. So we have RPM as a value chosen and alarm indication. Then I need to choose when is it active. I would like to have it active under limit and I can choose from four options, not only under and over limit. There is also FLS option. This means that the value is uh, more than 10% out of the limits. This is a sensor fail protection. Then I can choose the history record options as this is alarm indication. This doesn't apply for me. I can choose the evaluation period to have it 100 milliseconds or 
as fast as possible and then I can choose block types. Those are conditions for evaluation of this protection. It can be active either all the time or when the engine is running with some uh, time defined delay. We have three delays defined in set points or it can be blocked by logical binary inputs or physical ones or it can be electrical protection. So as this is based on RPM, I would like to have it active when the engine is running with some delay that I will set up in set points. Then I can choose the protection group. This means where all the set points for this protection will appear in set points in IntelliMonitor and in GenConfig so that I can set it up. I would like to have it in analog ones. Then there are limit set points. I can either choose that it will be constant, I will set it up here and no one will be able to change it from IntelliMonitor. I can choose that this will be an existing set point or I can choose that this will be a new set point which will appear as I have set up in the analog protection group and I would be able to change it from IntelliMonitor. So I would like to have it as a new set point. I can choose what will be the limit as this is RPM. I can set limits to be 0 and 2000 and I can have it as 4080 for example. And the delay will be 5 seconds for me. So what does it do now? I have RPM based protection with type alarm indication. So I will have alarm on the display of the unit when the RPM is under limit which is set up to 1480 RPM. It has to be under this value for at least 5 seconds and it has to be evaluated only when the engine is running after startup with some delay. And I can cho choose uh, those set points in the analog protections group. As the last thing, I can set up message that will be displayed on the display. So I can click on new message that I can set to low RPM. And when I press OK, I can see that this is active. When I press OK now, it appears in the list of custom protections. If I write this configuration into the unit, I would see all these settings in set points. You can check that those set points were created in the set points tab, as I said, in analog protect group, and you can see that there is the RPM yellow protection set point and the RPM delay. You can see those two values, 1480 RPM. When I move my mouse over this one, you can see the limits and then there is the five seconds delay. If I go back to protections card now and double click on this protection, I can see the wizard again and you can see that now there is existing set point instead of a new one. So this is the way how you can set up custom protections in comap controllers. You can either do it in IO step or in custom protections here if you have any issues or any questions, you can reach us on support at comup-control.com or you can just navigate to help desk page on our website.